Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Um, for today's video, I, I kind of just wanted to talk about an issue that's kind of on everybody's mind um, as of right now in terms of PvP. Primarily discussing some of the promised changes that we were supposed to have seen, like, expectedly by now. Um, and we have not yet seen them. So this is pretty much kind of like an update and everything. It just kind of like talk about things and like our feelings about it because like it's it, it's at a point where like i'm i'm so used to and so tired of <laughs> being like used and lied to and taken advantage of basically that like it's like it's kind of one of those moments where i'm just kind of like stop <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of one of those moments where i i do kind of just I, I just kind of feel a little bit dead inside um from how much i'm just like I've had to deal with this already and like it, it honestly doesn't feel good it, it feels more like we're just constantly w living with the fact that we're just never gonna get what we're ex or expected or promised or just told in general and it just uh, it just doesn't feel good I apologize in advance by the way if uh, if I happen to come across as a little bit depressing uh, in regards to this because I mean I can't help it like it is it is pretty depressing it's sad to see uh, when like a highly respected company like Square Enix can't even do something as simple as just communicate properly with their fan base, let alone just do what they say <laughs> that they're gonna do. So, try devoting four years of your life to a company, and then and then they never email you any updates. Never email you updates. I, I'm, not, they, I'm not. I'm not saying. <laughs> the only time they email you updates is when they come out with a new product to sell it to you. Or when they change the compensation plan from 80 bucks a sale to 40 bucks a sale, and everyone loses their shit, and everyone. But anyways, uh, just to kind of quickly review and go over things in case you've been living underneath a rock. The Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Twitter account, as well as was posted on Reddit too as well, uh, had made an announcement about like six days ago or so at the time of making this video. Basically, in a nutshell, saying that PvP would be addressed in the form of that the link, the rank lock issue uh, would be fixed in the form of where the players that pop up on your screen would actually be more likely to be ones that are outside of battle that you could actually go ahead and challenge from that one. As well as the fact that they did say that they have expanded the tier list uh, for players to have more of an opportunity to receive rewards from their own within their own brackets okay now i already stated in my last video discussing this that it just sounded to me like they're just kind of like rewording what the luxury week already is so in that regards i was just kind of expecting that maybe they broke up the tier brackets kind of like how they do for luxury week and so but it was just super vague as to like what the heck they were trying to like ex exactly saying right there uh, but nonetheless we were expecting changes of some sort, okay? And of course, and obviously by now, we've seen it like that, That at the very least, it comes across like that was just complete BS. Um, they didn't do anything in regards in, towards the tier listing or rewards or anything, okay? As far as I can tell from looking at the game, the tier listings and rewards for each of the tiers are the exact same as they have been ever since PvP first came out. So I... Like, I don't know what's going on, and it's just like, it's just at the point where, like, I'm just so used to being lied to, um, and taken advantage of from Square Enix in terms of Union Cross, uh, that, like, it's very similar to kind of, like, an abusive relationship. You keep going in the hopes that something, something better is gonna happen, something will change, and it just never does. <laughs> at least not that we've seen so far. So... But anyways, uh, they did note as well in their little, like, announcement, saying that please note that these are not necessarily permanent changes. We ask that you please keep this in mind as we refine the PvP system to reflect the desires of our community. Thank you. As well as the fact that they did follow up with that as well, stating that also please keep in mind that the current special ranking week is still in effect, so changes may not be as apparent until the start of the next ranking week, okay? Well, now the next ranking week is here. Like, we're already in the next ranking week, okay? And we still have not seen any changes at all whatsoever, so I have no idea what the heck they're talking about uh, in terms of this. Like, they they basically egg you Wong and dangle like a, a, like a carrot in front of your nose, expecting something to happen, and then like when you actually reach the destination, oh, sorry, the carrot's no longer there. Like, it's, it's, it's very depressing, frustrating, 
like to deal with and look at. It's just, Square Enix, please just, just do what you're gonna say. Like, it's honestly not that hard to just, you know, fulfill your customers' expectations, let alone desire, at the very least. I don't know about you guys, but from what I understand about how business has been done for the last few centuries or so, is that if the consumer has something that they desire, that's an opportunity for you to take advantage of it, create that for that consumer for them to consume. All right, but I have absolutely no idea what's going on with Square Enix. I guess they, maybe they just really are just completely disconnected with the community, uh, just in general, just period, to the fact that they don't even know what the heck we want, even though we are practically screaming at them what we want. We're being told that the PR team is telling them what we want, yet very little actually ever changes. Or if they do change, it's like a year later when it's like already kind of too late for them to have changed, if that makes sense. But other than that, I kind of just want to like talk about that a little, a little bit. Um, at least like get a little bit off my chest. Uh, I'm sorry again if it may have been a little bit depressing uh, to listen to. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about it uh, in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.